My name is Dr. Jubair Hafiji, consultant dermatologist and specialist dermatologic surgeon. Skin cancers, broadly speaking, fall into two main categories, non-melanoma skin cancers and melanoma. There are three main skin cancer types that I see, basal cell skin cancers, squamous cell skin cancers and melanoma. So I'll take each in turn. Basal cell skin cancers account for around 80% of all skin cancers that I see and they can present in many different ways from a red scaly patch to a shiny lump or a bump or can present as a, a growth that's not healing, that's scabbing, that's bleeding. They're not usually tender and they grow very slowly. Squamous cell skin cancers, unlike basal cell skin cancers, tend to prevent, present much more rapidly with a rapidly enlarging growth that is usually tender but can present as an ulcer and they account for around 20% of skin cancers. Then of course melanoma and most people have heard about melanoma because it's one of the more deadliest forms of skin cancer that we see in the United Kingdom. The things to look out for with melanoma is a mole that's changing in size, shape or colour. It may bleed, it may itch, you may have a change in sensation. But remember with melanoma it can arise from an existing mole or it can develop as a new mole. Well, the commonest cause of skin cancer is ultraviolet exposure uh, from sunlight or from artificial sources. So if you're an outdoor worker, you've got a lot of recreational hobbies, or you've got fair skinned, then you'll significantly increase risk of developing skin cancer in later life. The other risk factors include medication. So certain medications which lower your immune system can increase the risk of you developing skin cancer. And of course, if you've got a family member with a skin cancer, you're at significantly increased risk of developing skin cancer yourself. So taking adequate sun protection measures is absolutely crucial. So if you have a mole that you're worried about, or a new lump, or a growth that's failing to heal, if in doubt, have it checked out. I offer my patients full skin checks all the time, and I think patients find that reassuring that they're in good hands with somebody who knows what they're looking for and if there is a suspicious mole or if there's early signs of skin cancer then these are detected early leading to greater chances of cure and as we all know early detection leads to better outcomes.